What's up everyone? So I'm here today with another unboxing video and really I've got these packages coming in faster than I can open them and make videos about them. So I've got this one that came from Sneakers. Uh, it's actually for my wife. She's been getting very lucky lately, uh, but I can't open this one without her even though I really, really, really want to see what's in this. So we're going to set this off to the side. But in the meantime, I also received two other packages in the mail today. And uh, one of them is from StockX, and I'm really, really excited to unbox what's in here. But another one actually came from Supreme, and it was kind of funny because I didn't remember ordering anything from Supreme. And then I remembered that I was trying to get the, uh, the Supreme Dunks, and that totally didn't work out. And uh, as a consolation prize for myself, I went and ordered something else and I forgot about it. And it showed up the same day as the StockX purchase. So let's open this up and check out what's in here. And it is a Supreme Zippo lighter. And I don't smoke, uh, but the other Icy Hot Stunna loves cigars. And so maybe I can help him light up his cigars with this, but... Uh, on the whole, this is actually kind of a, a nice pickup as an accessory because it's got the uh, cl classic Supreme logo look. It's got the right color. Um, it's actually taped shut, so I'm not going to mess with opening it right now. But uh, ah, as lighters go, this one's, this one's kind of nice. Not as cool as having the dunks, but that's that. Let's move on and get into it. As soon as I saw this shoe, the prototypes of the shoe, or the, uh, I guess, the uh, early images of the shoe, I knew I had to have it. I knew it was right up my alley from a style perspective. And when sneakers dropped this shoe, I knew I wasn't gonna get it. And I tried, and I made my wife try, and I didn't. And so I basically immediately went on StockX and I paid the outrageous re resale prices. Um, and they've since gone down. And I ended up buying two more pairs after it went down because I knew I loved this shoe just that much. So the first one came in today and I knew that I had to have one to wear, which means I needed to have another to stare. And then this shoe also came in two colorways. So I had to buy both. And I actually don't know what to expect because I have not seen this shoe in hand yet. And I have very, very high expectations for this. But this is the ready-made Blazer Mid in the black and orange colorway. And StockX receipt, I paid way, way too much for this shoe but I had to, had to, had to have it. And one of the reasons I love this shoe, beyond just the shoe, is that it's a complete story that's being told. Um, you know, you've got the box, which is designed to resemble a garbage bin. So you have the, the green and the tagging. You have the paper, which is designed to resemble garbage itself. And let's have a look at the actual shoe. Wow. This shoe is just wild. I love this shoe because it doesn't look like a shoe. It looks like art that you can wear on your feet. And really that's kind of, that's kind of what I feel like it is. And in hand, Initial impression is is really really strong. So this shoe was designed by a Japanese um, Designer that owns a brand called ready-made his his name is Yuta Hasakawa I believe and the ethos of his brand is basically taking what what people view as garbage and repurposing it as something that is usable. And, uh, you know, in our, our time of becoming uh, increasingly more eco-friendly 
um, environmentally aware, uh, you know, understanding climate change. This company and, and this shoe really kind of have this story that, that blends reuse and repurposing materials with just crazy aesthetic um, and really just being wild and out there, which is totally right up, you know, the icy hot uh, uh, alleyway. And so everything about this shoe just aligned with everything that I love. And if we look at it, we have, so we have the Nike Grind, which is, you know, the reusable uh, scrap material left over from their process that they've built into the outsole. Um, even, you know, the crazy thing about the midsole on this is that I, I don't know how they manufactured this. So Yuta, when he designed this shoe, basically cut up a blazer and just started messing with it. And he, he sculpted clay onto the original midsole. And Nike found a way to, to kind of give the production version that kind of hand touch, uh, which is what Yuta was going for. So this, this midsole is wild. This is very, very cool. It has um, kind of threads of Sakai in it. Uh, I've got the Sakai blazer here. We can take a look, but it's very different from, you know, the final product. This looks much more like tape, where this, you know, really just looks like somebody had their hand in uh, sculpting it, and that's what he was going for. The upper was designed to look like the polyurethane foam that you would find in couch cushions. Uh, it kind of looks like a, you know, a camo. Kinda, I, that's why I wore this jacket. It kind of has a similar look, but uh, it's designed to look like, you know, reused foam. Um, the swoosh on this, I'm kind of surprised Nike let him do this. I mean, this is not uh, a standard typical swoosh by any means. It, it kind of takes its liberties with Nike. But uh, that's another reason I like it, and the fact that it's you know bright orange, um, you know this this shoe was meant to get visibility on feet, and uh, it, it should go well with a lot of the outfits that I have. Um, the other thing I like about this is the design was meant to look good either as a high or a mid because of this angle on this cut right here. So if you wear pants over it. It'll look kind of like a mid, but if you wear, you know, tight fitting jeans or whatever um, that, that sit on top, it'll look good as a high top shoe as well. So there's a lot of flexibility in this. Uh, let's see these. I'm not quite sure how this lacing system works. It looks like there's two sets of laces. And it also looks like it's got these kind of heat shrunk bungee cord materials that are integrated into the lace kind of over the top. So, you know, I don't think that you can take that out. I don't plan to relace this shoe, but uh, I, I don't think it would be fun if I wanted to. Overall, I think this is wild. I really, 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 really like this. Um, like I said, I ended up buying three. I plan to keep two of them pretty much Inbox unused indefinitely. I think they're long-term holds. I know these uh, these actually went down in value a couple days after. That's kind of to be expected, I think. Um, I think this is a shoe that you either love or hate. And I think basically, you know, on release day, everybody that uh, can get it is just lucky. They're going to resell it. You're going to have that window where everybody is reselling the shoe because a lot of people hate it and it'll end up in the hands of those that love it. They'll hang on to them. I think over time, this shoe is going nowhere but up. I know out of all the shoes I have, this is definitely up there on, you know, one of the unique ones that I have to keep uh, long-term. And so I'm really, really happy with this. I've heard, uh, I've heard some people say this is the sneaker of the year. Um, I'll be honest. You know, the trophy rooms are cool. The trophy rooms have a really nice story. I like this better than the trophy room if we're just looking at the shoe itself. Um, so, you know, everybody's got their own cup of tea. I'm gonna try to snag some trophy rooms too, we'll see. But uh, I love, love, love this. 
I called the taupe haze a trash shoe. Um, I think part of that is because they, they tried to be gimmicky with it and it didn't have a story. This shoe is a trash shoe made from trash, designed to look like trash. And that is its story. And that's actually why I love it. I don't know how this is going to be to wear. Anybody who's worn a blazer knows that blazers are super duper uncomfortable. I've got a set of blazers here, classic, uh, just kind of a, a black and gold colorway. These shoes are awful on feet. They are painful. They're not comfortable. They look good. You don't want to walk very far in them. Um, these Sakai's, similar story. They wear a little bit better than the uh, traditional blazers, but they're still not the most comfortable shoe to walk around in. They look really, really good. I expect these are going to be in the same vein. I can feel, you know, they're, they're pretty narrow. I've heard that they're the most comfortable blazer for what that's worth. I am definitely going to wear these. Um, I think it's going to be special occasion type of, uh, of uh, events because I don't expect them to be that comfortable. And I also expect them to get a lot of attention, which is part of why I bought them. Overall, extremely, extremely happy with this. Highly, highly, highly recommend. If you don't have a pair, go snag it while the resellers are still getting rid of them before all the people who really want this shoe lock it up. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. See you at the next one.